Whether you're a seasoned mind man seeking to optimize your skills, or a novice yearning to reach remarkable heights, this guide will equip you with the knowledge and techniques required to make that coded 90 mil per hour dilemma a reality. But before we start, let's explore the two auto pet rules you can choose from and discuss their benefits and drawbacks. Traditional rules are the most widely used and the rules I use. However, there's a lesser known configuration known as alternating rules. To use alternating rules, cast the rod after you mine the vein instead of getting off the dillo. Alternating rules are technically better than using traditional rules, so you should use them if you can. I would argue that it's harder to learn, but the top dillo miner says it's not. However, if you're already used to traditional rules, then it's pretty difficult to learn. So overall, if you already know traditional, then just stick to that, and if you're new to Dillo mining, learn alternating. Once you've selected your preferred rule set, head over to Maxwell and select a mana reforge. Grab yourself an Ether Warp AOTV, and we can begin mining. To set up a Dillo lobby, load all the waypoints into Colway and go through the waypoints in search of structures. If there are any structures, you may need to find a new lobby. However, sometimes the structures don't damage the route too much, and you can just continue using that lobby. Once you've found a decent lobby, enter setup mode in Colwait and mine out the waypoints. Place a cobblestone block on each waypoint and ensure a clear path for ether warts from one vein to the next. With the lobby all set up, turn off setup mode and let's get mining. To mine, you want to quickly ether warp, then swap to your drill and perform a controlled swipe of the vein. One common mistake I see a lot is excessively jumping on the vein. This slows down your mining and can ruin your rates. Another crucial aspect of Dillo mining is accounting for the slight delay before your pristine updates. Be mindful of this delay as it can affect your rates heavily. You kind of just get a feel for this as you mine, but if you notice you're getting a lot of low procs in chat, then you need to wait longer before getting on the Dillo. Another tip is to line up your swipe so that it will end near the next bay. You do this lining up while waiting for your drill stats to update after each ether warp. Once you've mastered the basics of Dillo mining, you want to move your focus to your route. I'm not an expert at route creation, so I can't provide footage, but I do know that optimizing your route can significantly boost your mining rates. Just using a different route made me go from 60 mil an hour to 90 mil an hour. The better your route, the more you make. So that's basically it about routed Dillo. There's no secret technique that gets you 90 mil an hour. It's really just the route and skill. If you want to review my gameplay more, there's a 30 minute test of 90 mil an hour in the description. Until next time, happy mining.